Oh yeah, folks, those are all beer cans about to be filled with Cape Cod beer. Find out how it happens. Next. Cape Cast. So Beth, tell us a little bit about the canning operation here at Cape Cod Beer. Okay, so cans are a brand new thing for us. Um, this spring we received a full truckload of cans, which is about 136,150 cans to be exact. And we've been using um, Iron Heart Mobile Canning out of Connecticut um, to come and can for us. So he'll come four times. And that should get us hopefully through the truckload of cans between now and probably 4th of July. And then we have to make the big decision as to whether they're doing well in the market. And, uh, and we're happy with the condition of the beer in the cans. Probably by about June 1st, I think I have to actually make the decision of whether we're going to order another full truckload of cans. If you look at the new cans, they actually have a growler on the back. And we're very dedicated to the growler. The growler has served us well for the last 10 years. Growlers aren't going anywhere, folks. They're going to be... You know, we'll still be doing beer and growlers. And this is going to be the first Cape Cod summer when Cape Cod beer is available in cans, which for some outdoor things, parties, coolers, ice chests, uh, that's a pretty special thing, Beth. It is, it is. But we want to remind people that they have to actually dispose of their cans properly. One of our employees on his way to work the other day on his bicycle found a Cape Cod beer can on the side of the road. And I honestly can tell you that it, it like rips at our heart. It is not what we want to see. We don't definitely don't want to see people littering Cape Cod beer cans. So, uh, you know, give a hoot, don't pollute. 